Hi, this is Tasha with Latitudes Gallery, and we had so much fun with Makeover May and doing the live room renderings that we decided to continue on showing what we do in the gallery and showing how we can take your a photo of your room and layer our artwork onto your wall and how all the pieces come together. So uh, today's room rendering is Katie's dining room. And what's great about Katie's dining room is she has this giant blank wall and it's really cool, but she also has this, this um, niche at the top, which makes it a little bit complicated. This is also her focal wall. So when she walks into her house, this is the first thing that people are going to see. So this is an important wall. This is getting views from the moment you walk in the space, from the living room, from the dining room, from the hallway, this is a very important wall. The other issue that Katie had was that it's a little bit darker space. And so we discussed adding some lighting up in the niche to brighten that up a little bit, but also adding a metal artwork to her space to bounce some of that light off. Now the best viewing for metal artwork is to have light hitting it directly, and then it'll really bounce that light. It'll really look like it's glowing from the inside, which is really amazing. But when you don't have that option, metal is also great to bounce some of that light through the space. So let's take a look at what Katie and her husband wanted. And this is for their anniversary, which is so sweet. Um, and they went to our Kauai gallery and they fell in love with this um, cathedral's image from Nepali, the Nepali coastline, um, which is exquisite. And when we were working on her space, we discussed the um, ratio, and this is the size we landed on, it's a little bit smaller than my typical rule of thumb, about 50% of the width of the wall, but we really liked how it balanced out the space. And so um, the other thing that we were looking at, we were also looking at the other version of this image in her space, but there was just something magical about the clouds in the cathedral's image. This smoky gray sky, which is just so beautiful and ties in really nicely with her travertine tile. And so we really fell in love with this one. And this is the one that they went with and she ordered this one today. And we're so excited for Katie and her husband to celebrate their anniversary with this gorgeous picture. So if you have a similar wall scenario, consider the fact that most chairs, especially in her space, she had a lot of um, breathing room between the chair backs and the walls. It is okay to drop that artwork below the chair backs, especially if you're viewing it in a space like this where you're constantly moving through the space and you're viewing it from different angles. You're only blocking part of the water when you're viewing it from exactly here. But as you move through the space, you'll see all the different elements of it. And in order for us to um, accommodate the size of the artwork, this is a 40 by 60 inch piece um, and to to bring it down just a little bit because of that ceiling, in order for us to do that and have enough breathing room around it, we needed to drop it down just a bit. And most often that's about where I like it. I don't generally like it floating above the chair backs. I typically like it just a bit lower, a little closer to the dining table height for the base of it, um, depending on the size. So thank you so much, Katie, for letting us share your room. It was so much fun working with you and we're so excited that you are using Latitude's art to celebrate your anniversary. Have a great night.